Today we're going to learn how to use Realize Instance in Geometry Nodes. So let's see. Let's do the camera, the light, go to Geometry Nodes. Let's hide this panel and this one. Let's get the new profile and let's stay with this cube. First of all, you need to know that an instance is like a copy, a cheap copy of an object. An object with a mesh, so it doesn't have all the information like a mesh, vertices, faces, edges, etc. So when Blender uses instance, will be faster than using objects with mesh because it's using less data. This is really important to understand. Now let's see a practical use. For example, in Geometry Nodes, if we go to Instance, we have different nodes about Instance, and we have others in other places. But for example, we have this one: Rotate, Scale, Translate. So this is to rotate instance. However, if now I add this here, look, it's giving me an error. Why? Because this object is not an instance. This object is a geometry. It has mesh. So it has vertices, edges, faces. And this node only works with instance because the input is an instance. So it's telling you, hey, this is not an instance. This is a geometry with a mesh. So I cannot work. So first of all, if you want to use this node, another that have the name instance, what we have to do is to convert a geometry to instance. So we have this node called geometry to instance. But basically, it converts a geometry to an instance. And now this doesn't have an error, so we can apply a rotation. And we can use the same logic with this node, a scale instance. So now we can scale this object because it's an instance. If we delete this, let's mute it, it's going to give error. And the same with translate instance. This only work with instance. So if you want these three nodes to work, you need to convert a geometry to an instance. And now we can use all these three nodes. Now let's see another example. I'm going to delete this, another curve line, and connect it here. And I'm going to add resample, so we have more points, and I'm going to convert the points of this curve to instance. So we are going to use instance on points. And now let's add, for example, cubes. I'm going to make this smaller. And I'm going to decrease the number of cubes. Something like this. So we have five cubes. Now, what we have at the end, let's check it, it's five instants. And we can check it here. We have five instants. Okay, what if I want to convert this to a geometry? So I can edit with edit mode. If you want to apply a geometry node, what you have to do is to go to the modifier geometry node because we have a geometry node. Now we need to go here and say apply. Let's see what happens. Error. It says basically that doesn't contain a mesh. So this is another example that now we are going to learn. So what is happening here is that we cannot apply a geometry modifier if in the end we have instance. So to solve this, what we have to do is to convert the instance to geometry. So we have mesh. And to this we have realize instance. So basically, this is the opposite of geometry to instance. This convert geometry to instance, and this convert instance to geometry. So now, if we try to apply this, we can apply the modifier and now we can edit these cubes if we go to edit mode. So now I can edit all these cubes. And also I can separate them in different objects. You press A to select everything and you go to mesh, separate by loose parts. And look here and now we will have more cubes. So let's do it. Mesh, separate by loose parts. And now we have five cubes. So if I go out of edit mode, I can move every object individually. If you want to fix the origin, select everything and go to object, 
set origin, origin to geometry. So as you can see, the node realize instance is really important if you want to apply the geometry nodes to your object. Now let's see another useful example. Let's do like this and add a grid. Let's connect it, make it bigger, and add more vertices. Now what I want is to add an instance in every point. So let's add the instance on points. And what I want is to add lines. So I'm going to use curve line. So now in every vertex of the original mesh, we have a line. Perfect. Now, what if I want Remember, now we have only instance. We have actually 121 instance. What if I want to control the top of the lines? So this one is the bottom and this one is the top, right? Perfect. And here we can control this because we have this control. But who I can say, look, guys, look, lines. Every top of the line, I want to attach it in one single position. For example, let's add a mesh, an icosphere, I'm going to make it smaller, and I want all these lines, the top, only the top of the lines, to be attached to this icosphere. So I want something like that. Imagine every line going like this, only the top. So what we have to do is use set position, right? because we want to set these lines, but we don't want to set all the line. We want only the top line. We could use this position. So let's bring object info. So let's select icosphere and say, all the position of these points, of these lines, go to the position of the center of this icosphere. So if we use the location of this icosphere, and I connect it here, all the lines are there. Okay, we don't want that. We want only the top. So what we have to do is to use end selection. End point selection, if you didn't see my tutorial, this basically allows you to select one point. For example, if I have this, I'm selecting only one point from the start of a line. If this has more points, then if I select two, it would select two points. And if you do it in the other side, for example, if I do this, I'm selecting one point from the end. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend you to see this tutorial. Now, we need to select the end point. So I'm going to select one. So I'm selecting every end of the line. And now we have this selection and we want to send it here, right? So let's check it. Let's connect it now to position to see if it works. Okay. This is not working. Why? Why if I'm selecting the top of the lines, is not being sent to this position? You know why? Because this is instance. And if we have instance, this doesn't know what is the start and the end. It's true that if we go here, this is reacting, so we can control, but because this is before being converted to an instance. However, after we convert this to an instance, we lose the information of the geometry of this curve. So this doesn't work. However, is there a possibility to get back this information? Yes, there is. Do you remember? We learned this about. So we have realized instance. So thanks to this, we can convert this instance to a geometry. That means that we will get back the start and the end information. So now, I'm going to disconnect this and this one. If I connect this here, now instead of instance, look at here, we have geometry. So we have curves with points and splines. So this is going to work. So if I connect this here, everything is in there. All the points is there, so we cannot say anything. However, if we say, hey, I only want to send here the top the end of the curve. So now I make this selection and bam, 
we are only selecting the top of the line and we are saying, hey, every line, the end, remember, the end point, go there. But the start point stay in the same position because we are making a selection. And this is thanks that we use this node. We converted instance to geometry. So we get back the curve and all the information of the start and the end. So now, if I try to move this object, always these lines is going to be attached, as you can see. Look, I'm going to give a mesh so we can see better. Curve to mesh. And let's add curve cycle. Let's make it a smaller, something like that, a little more. And look how, if I move this object, all the ends of the curve always are connected to the center of the position of this icosphere. So this is really useful if you want to attach lines to a point. And we can do the same if we, for example, instead of using a grid, I'm going to use a cube. Let's add more vertices and let's make it bigger. So now, remember, we have a cube converted in lines and we are saying all the end of the lines follow this object. Let me set it here. If you don't want so many lines, you can decrease this and see it better. We can use also an icosphere if you want. And if you want to see the icosphere, what we can do is to add joint geometry. So now, from every vertex of this object, every point, we have a curved line and we are saying the end to be connected to this position. If I add more subdivisions, I will have more lines. And we have this effect. And if I say, don't make a selection, now the end is not selected. If we say, the star go there, we have this. However, now looks weird because we are using the star. So it's always better to use the end. Because we have the star attached to the position of the object. So this is a good example how to use Realize Instance. There is more uses, but I hope with this video you understand a lot how Instance work and how to use this node in some special cases. Don't worry, in this channel I'm going to do more tutorials and you will see more uses of Realize Instance. At least now you know how this works. And if you want to learn more, I recommend you to give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more on my Patreon and see you in the next video.